Oh, me dearios. Uh, look at that sign behind me. The Belgrade Theatre means that we can only be in uh, Coventry. And here I am still with my good friend, Stephen Fennerty. Hello. Stephen, you've got some big news, haven't you? Well, I have. I've got some very exciting news relating to uh, a very old friend and uh, a very old festival as well. First of all, let's talk about the very old friend. Who was Norman J. Warren? Norman J. Warren uh, was, sadly, because Norman passed away last year, Norman was a, a British film director. I suppose you would describe him as a director of cult films, uh, certainly not mainstream films. But I, I think more importantly than that, Norman was known as, quote unquote, the nicest man in the business. He was absolutely charming. I first met him back in the early 90s. Where? Um, at the Festival of Fantastic Films in Manchester. Ah. Um, but I think 1992 or three was the first year I went. Um, and I first met Norman there and uh, we sort of kept in touch on and off ever since. Uh, but you have a much longer uh, history with Norman than I do, so maybe you want to talk about your connection with Norman. I go back a bit further because I did work with Norman. I wrote a couple of bits of nonsense for him. And, uh, you know, rather like you, we just kept in touch, and I was in touch with him uh, right up until earlier this year when he died. So where did you actually, I mean... I remember you describing to me as your, your oldest, lo most long-standing friend in the business. How old were you both when you met, and what were you each doing at that time, at that point in your careers? Well, without without a doubt, he was my oldest uh, friend in the business, and that's because I met him when I was 18. I was working in a cutting room in London, Soho, and who should have been hiring the back room to edit his first feature film? but Norman. So I went in there and I said, what, what's going on here? This is a film, Her Private Hell, I'd never heard of. Mm -hmm. So I was intrigued. Uh, we did keep in touch. And after a couple of years, yes, I wrote a couple of horror films for him. Which ones did, which ones did, you, uh, did you write with your withered pen, as I think one critic referred to it as? It was Time Out who referred to another absolute stinker from the withered pen of David McGillivray. <laughs> that was a reference to terror, because previously <laughs> I'd written what we now call Stan's Slave. It was a, a genuine misprint in a, in a theatre programme. It's a reference really to Satan's Slave, but now, for me, that will always be called Stan's Slave. But enough about me, as I'm wont to say. What's the big news about Norman J. Warren? Well, Norman was always interested in talking to people. He was interested in people and he was interested in talking to filmmakers and young filmmakers and encouraging people. Uh, he really was a genuinely lovely man and is much missed. He was such a good friend of the Festival of Fantastic Films in Manchester. He, he went year after year. He would go as a guest, but more often or not, he, he goes uh, uh, as a visitor, just as an attendee. He loved films, he loved talking yes. films. Yes. Um, and he loved talking about his career and answering questions. So the Festival of Fantastic Films is having something of a relaunch in 2022. And it's uh, sort of reigniting what was known as the Delta Film Awards, which used to run for many years. And what they're doing is that they're, they're relaunching the festival as the, the Delta Film Awards. And the, the best in festival award will be uh, the Norman J. Warren Trophy, which will be specially created and, and given to the best in festival short film award winner um, as uh, in recognition and in memory of, uh, of Norman J. Warren. How has this come about, Stephen? Well, this came through as a, as a discussion following the previous festival. Gil Lane Young, who was the organiser for many years, along in the past with, with Tony Edwards, Harry Nadler and Dave Trengrove and others. They, they, the festival's been going since 1990. Um, so it's, what, in its 32nd year, I think, this year? Um, skipped one due to the pandemic. So there was a discussion afterwards, because Norman was, to say he was a fixture of the festival isn't fair. He was, it was an integral part of the festival family. He was uh, much loved and is much missed, and there was a desire to uh, remember him and recognise him on an ongoing basis. And what better way than to have a trophy for, uh, for a short film? The genres that people will be able to submit them via the Film Freeway 
site. By the way, all entries are free as well. Um, but the genres are, are uh, horror, uh, science fiction and uh, fantasy. Um, and they'll be judged by a, a panel of judges. And you have been asked and kindly accepted, David, you're going to chair the judging panel. I'd be honoured, uh, Stephen. So just to recap, we make a short film in one of three horror genres. Just remind us... There's some uh, people who are terribly <laughs> happy just going past. <laughs> Coventry does that too. <clears throat> it's a hell of a town. Just remind us of those three genres that are eligible. Okay, so there's three categories. There's horror, science fiction, and fantasy. Obviously crossover between them, bit of thriller here and there. Um, and they can't be any longer than 20 minutes. I think that's the plan. They do have to be short films. Fair enough, and then we uh, stick them in, uh, we send them to you via this uh, website which is uh, called Film Freeway. Yeah, Film Freeway, it's much used in, uh, in sort of film festival for submissions and it's free to submit. You can create your own profile if you're a filmmaker on Film Freeway and it's to showcase your films, but you submit to festivals via this platform and it's a way that and festivals can, can start going through and sifting the entries and drawing up a short list and then getting back in touch with people if they're shortlisted to invite them to, to the festival in the hope that they can attend and, and present their films. Oh, it's a great tribute to uh, uh, Norm and Stephen. I'm so glad it's happening. Um, there's probably a deadline. There is. I haven't got the notes in front of me. There is a deadline. Um, it's not for quite a while. The deadline, I think, to submit is going to be sometime uh, towards in the summer. Uh, but if you go on the Film Freeway site and search for Festival of Fantastic Films Manchester, it will give you all the details. The deadlines are there uh, for people to submit their films in good time and also provide any of the materials later that they need to do. And uh, it's happening in Manchester and... Uh, what are the dates yet? Do we know? We do, um, and it's the always, well, at the moment, it's always the, the, the last sort of weekend of uh, October around uh, Halloween time. Ah. And so it's the last, the final weekend in October. Sometimes it runs into the start of November, but it is that final weekend in October, and it takes place at the Pendulum Hotel and Conference Centre, which is on Sackville Street in Manchester. Stephen, it's a case of, see you in Manchester, Indeed, see you in Manchester and we're very excited about how the festival is going to look this year and uh, we hope lots of people can attend and come back to the festival because it is really a family and it has a unique atmosphere, the festival in Manchester. It, uh, I mean, the access to, to the guests, just the, the atmosphere in the bar, the screenings, it has got a very special atmosphere um, and we want to keep it that way. But you know, all are welcome, so please come and join us. Yes, please. Looking forward. Uh, see you in Manchester? I do hope so. Until then. Bye.